I'm in Bisbee because over the weekend, a local couple was confronted by a man claiming to be a police officer, but he didn't actually have a badge. They told me he instructed them to follow him down this road and into a parking lot. When Hunter and Ashley Storr pulled into this parking lot, a man impersonating a police officer confronted them. I'm a law officer and I was on a run. In the moment, I really thought he was a law enforcement officer. Um, and that's why I asked him over and over again for his name and badge number which the man never gave him i was given a copy of the video ashley store took of the encounter showing the man getting out of his car twice to address the couple i don't have what to tell you my name your public service what department do you work i work for sierra vista public service what's your problem i've seen some videos online of things similar to this happening but it was a law enforcement officer so my mind didn't even suspect that he was impersonating an officer until we called Sierra Vista. Store who called the Sierra Vista Police Department says they told him they didn't have any officers in Bisbee at the time of the interaction and passed the incident to the Bisbee Police Department. Knowing what I know now I probably wouldn't have even stopped. Um, I would have just grabbed a picture of his license plate and just gotten out of here as quickly as I could. Um, because I, you know, I don't know where that could have gone. He says Bisbee PD took the report and told him this could happen again since this was the second report in as many days. He told us that on Friday night, the day before it happened to us, the same incident happened with red and blue lights. It was nighttime and it was an elderly woman who reported a, a red vehicle just like his that tried to pull her over. Drivers can call 911 if they suspect they are being pulled over by an unmarked car to see if there are any cops in the area.